people talk about climate change and extreme weather a lot. It might appear a very distant issue for you who are living in Hong Kong. However, you are indeed facing much health risk of climate change. From a public health perspective, the health impact of an event can be classified into five stages according to its severity. These five stages range from behavioral change, self-medication or self-care, medical help seeking, hospital admission, and death. Who is more vulnerable to such health impact? Patients suffering from severe illnesses, children, elderly, people with chronic diseases, and those with low socioeconomic status confront with the higher health risk that climate change brought about. <laughs> with climate change, temperature in Hong Kong is becoming more extreme, and the seasonal climate alters. In 2017, the city experienced one of its warmest January. Utilizing the data from Hong Kong Observatory, Census and Statistics Department, Environmental Protection Department, and Center for Health Protection, the Chinese University of Hong Kong analyzed the mortality under both hot and cold seasons. In hot season, above the daily mean temperature of 28.2 degrees Celsius, every 1 degree Celsius increase associated with an estimated 1.8% increase in mortality. Cardiovascular and respiratory infection-related deaths were more sensitive to high temperature effects. People with lower socioeconomic status were more vulnerable to heat-related mortality. During our research period, more than one-fifth of the time we had a daily mean temperature higher than the threshold at 28.2 degrees Celsius. Looking at 2016 only, 23% of the time reported a daily mean temperature higher than 28.2 degrees Celsius. <coughs> the air is so polluted! During hot season, we found that mortality was related to the levels of air pollutants, including nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, respirable suspended particulates, and ozone. Sulfur dioxide was amongst having the strongest association with mortality. The main source of sulfur dioxide in Hong Kong comes mainly from power plants, vehicle, and marine emissions. Inhalation of sulfur dioxide causes narrowing of the airways, which people suffering from asthma and chronic respiratory diseases are sensitive to. These patients have to be more alert on days with heavy air pollution. January 2017 was really warm, but then the January in 2016 was freezing. That particular 24th of January was the coldest day since 1957. Cold temperatures were strongly associated with higher mortality. Low temperatures had a lagged effect on health persisting up to three weeks. With a 1 degree Celsius drop in daily mean temperature, the subsequent three weeks had a 3.8% cumulative increase in mortality. A prolonged cold spell had more cases of death. In cold seasons, a higher daily ozone level is strongly associated with higher mortality. How can we minimize the impact posed by extreme weather events and air pollutants? The main source of ozone is from vehicle and factory using more public transport and electric vehicle. Cutting down emissions from factory and so on are all effective ways to reduce ozone level. The elderly is a very vulnerable group during cold seasons. So do remember paying extra care to old people around you, seeking timely medical care if they feel unwell.